boys and girls, I'm Miss Pam, and I'm going to tell you the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now, I know this is a familiar story, and you've probably heard it many times. You might remember that there were three main characters. There was Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. Now, the story begins when they woke up one day in their little house in the woods. Mama Bear fixed some porridge to have for breakfast. But it was much too hot to eat at that time, so they decided to take a little walk. And while they were gone, they had a visitor. It was our fourth character, Goldilocks. Now, Goldilocks was a polite little girl. She did knock on the door, but when no one answered right away, she just decided to go inside. She was curious, so she went to the kitchen first, and she smelled the porridge. Now, she had been out walking too, and she was a little hungry. So, she tried the first bowl of porridge. Oh no, it was much too hot. She tried the second bowl of porridge. It was too cold. She tried the last bowl of porridge, the smallest. And you know what? It was just right, and she ate it all up. Now, she was a curious little girl, so she went into the living room to see what was in there, and she found three chairs. She sat down in the first chair. It was much too hard, so she decided to try the medium-sized chair. It was too soft. She tried the last little chair and was sitting there happily when all of a sudden, crack, it broke. Oh no, she's not to be outdone. She decided to see what was upstairs. So she climbed the stairs and she found three bears. She laid down in the biggest bed, but it was much too hard. She tried the medium sized bed. It was much too soft. And she tried the little bed. Guess what? It was just right. And you know what? She had, was so tired from all her adventures, she fell asleep for a short nap. Now, while Goldilocks was sleeping, the bears came back home. They looked around and they immediately knew something was wrong. Papa Bear could tell by looking at his bowl. Someone's been eating my porridge, he said. Mama Bear could tell by looking at her porridge. Someone's been eating my porridge too. Baby Bear looked in his bowl and guess what? It was all gone. Oh no, he said, someone's been eating my porridge and it's all gone. Someone's been here, said Papa Bear. We better check out the living room. They went into the living room and Papa looked at his chair. He could tell immediately, someone's been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear went to her chair. She could tell too. Someone's been sitting in my chair, she said. And Baby Bear went to his chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair and they broke it. He was rather sad. They climbed up the stairs because someone had been in their house. Papa Bear could look at his bed. There was a dent. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, he said. Mama Bear looked in her bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed too, she said. And Baby Bear checked out his bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, he said. And there she is. Well, all this commotion woke up Goldilocks and she ran out the door as quick as could be. Now, I've heard two ends to this story. I've heard that Goldilocks ran away and never went back, which is rather sad. But I've also heard that she thought about it and decided that she was not very polite. And she went back and she apologized and she helped the bears fix Baby Bear's chair. Now, don't you like that ending the best, being a polite little boy or girl? Thank you. The end.